welcome to this lecture so in this lecture we are going to talk about new packaging technique so we are going to learn about how to wrap our payload or the script with the help of pdf file so any user that will open our payload or the script or the virus will think that they are only opening the pdf file but in that same pdf file they will also open the key logger or basically any viruses that you can wrap so first of all you can open the pycharm and you can see this is the same file that we are going to wrap with so you could see we have just uh, lazan over here which is going to give us the information about the password of that client and we are sending that result back to this gmail so now what we need to do here is we can just do something that is downloading some other file instead of just lazan so first of all what i want to do is instead of just downloading to the current location i want to change the current location to something that is temporary directory so what this does is basically we'll just download now this file or the lazan or any other file not in the current directory because that can be suspicious for the user so instead we'll just download that in the temporary directory where user won't have any suspicion because this is the temporary they can contain any files so in order to do that we have this temporary file dot and uh, we have this uh, get temp directory so first of all we haven't imported maybe yes we haven't imported so let's import this temp file and in this temp file so in this temporary file module we have this get temp directory method so this is going to get us the temporary directory so next is we have to also import the os module because now we have to change the current directory to this temporary directory so that can be done with this chdir command and let me show you that this os is not the platform specific because this is the module of the python that means it is going to work either in a mac os x or linux or even in the windows so we are going to just change the directory to now to this temporary directory after we change we'll just download this file and just make you sure that this is the file that we have in this var www and html let's go to that place so it should be over here so let's see it should be in the var www and html and inside this file we have this lasan.exe which is basically going to download us that file and after you just download you are going to execute and basically you can see we are just calling this check output because we want the information of this lasan to be sent back to this information which is the gmail information so next thing what i want to do is just before this so you can see this is our payload but before just downloading the payload let me just download another file and in this case i want to download to the user that is maybe the file so it should be on the same that is www var w so let me just copy everything because this should be same instead of the file name so file name will be the different so let me just copy here and paste it over here so instead of lasan.exe the first file i want to show is the pdf file so first of all let me open that in the file explorer so this will be normal pdf file you can download any other pdf file so let me save this and now let me just go over here and our download is ready let me just grab that file let me just cut it from there and let's go and paste it in our web server so this has lesson 2.pdf so all you need to do is copy that name and let's go back to our pycharm and instead of that lasan.exe in here or basically in the first we have to pass that is the file name so that should be lesson 2.pdf so first of all we are going to download that pdf and we are execute that so in order to execute we have this sub process and i'll just say p open and here we have to just run that downloaded so it is lesson 2.pdf so we are just running this and we'll say cell is true okay the t should be upper okay 
so we have now this p open method which is going to execute this in a different processes which does not collide with this process which is a check output and basically we'll just assign that result and send it to this email so we had made this payload now so this payload is going to uh, do something that is first download this pdf and user will think that it is just working with the pdf but inside it is a payload that will just run the lasan and it will just give the information that lasan can grab into this email so first of all what you need to do is simply go to this project folder in this case i have this home and uh, i have in this python project so if you just remember in the previous lecture we have seen how to convert this python file into the executables from the linux so we can do now easily with the help of a linux so what i need to do is simply grab that file so that is download.py file let me copy this and let me just paste it over here but i don't want this python file to be sent i just want the file that is exe file so let's convert this into the exe file you know how to convert so first of all i want to use this wine which is the configuration and uh, the path where we have this py installer installed so it is in the wine and uh, okay it's in the wine and it should be drive c inside this drive c we have this python 27 which is the folder which has this script folder again and inside this script we have installed this python installer which is py installer which is dot exe file and this is going to just convert our download dot py which is this python file into the executables with only one file and i want no console and let me just hit enter it is going to work now and let it give a time it is going to bind and build everything and you could see we have now this two folder and this spec file which is basically going to just show us what is the modules or the library that it has used or this python file has used so inside this disk we have this now download.exe file let me just grab that let's go back here and let me just paste it down here so i'll just remove this dist folder and everything because the folder that we are interested in is this download.exe file and uh, now what you can do is you can simply go over here and uh, search for virus total in order to check if this is uh, the file that will be detected by any antivirus or not so let's go over here and i'll just choose uh, file and in my case it is this download.exe let's see that and i have to uh, also you can also check in the node distribute uh, in this is also a good website so you can also check in this one but i personally like this virus total so i'll just browse again and it is in the bar www html and it is inside file and the name is download.exe it is right here and let me just uh, hit scan file again and now you can see that most of these application has detected so bit defender has detected so out of 69 23 has detected our files but it has also got bypassed by the casper sky and some of these websites that is like mcafee but some of these like you can see a vira has detected obviously many applications or many programs or pc will have this vira that means we have to just customize our program so that this list of detection will be smaller so you can do by just changing with the python code so for now you can also check for the node distribute and it will also give the same information so let's go back and let's see how we can just run this and see the information so before that i have to go to the window machine and in the window machine first of all you have to go to this location which is basically the host and before that i have to make sure that apache server is running so let me just see if it is running okay it is running 
so now i want this download.exe so what you can also do is simply you can type here download.exe and you could see this is the url that has this payload so you can just send this url in the form that no one will understand so you can use the services like bitlay and you can just okay convert your link into the less suspicious link so you can just paste it that link and get that uh, link which is very much a shortened version and after that you can use so here what i need to do is i'll simply download dot exe and you could see it is same file let me save this and uh, let me just view the download it is scanning and it is just giving us information that it has been detected by the windows defender and i want to just run it anyway so let's see so it has deleted this file okay this has been detected now but we can just change this file so as to run so before that because it has the lasan so that means it will just detect so let me just uh, remove this uh, from here and it should be off so i think it was off but it just remove that so you can also run it anyway so i'll just run it so it will just grab anyway so we'll see how we can modify it and we'll just get you in the next lecture so see you in the next one